Today, we're talking Bill Spencer's most recent Xbox Series X update and more. Let's get into it. What is happening, guys? Dealer back again with yet another video talking about Bill Spencer, the Xbox Series X, and some of his more recent public comments. Keep in mind that even if you know about this, well, that doesn't stop me from getting 100 DMs asking me to talk about it. And I uh, figured why not update you guys. So recently, head of Xbox Bill Spencer on Twitter did talk about the Series X and their progress in the machine. Kind of gave an overall general update to a random Twitter follower, which is awesome. A fan says, hi, at Bill Spencer, with the imminent arrival of the Series X. What technologies do you think allow this spectacular advance? We have been hearing about ray tracing for a few months and recently about photogrammetry. Would this be a new course? Now, Phil Spencer does reply and he says ray tracing on console will be great. Quickly, I have to stress the fact that there have been a lot of people talking about how ray tracing is going to cripple frame rates for some reason. When anybody that actually runs ray tracing knows how they pair ray tracing and DLSS in many games to make that ground back up up when it comes to performance lost. Put simply, enable both ray tracing and checkerboarding and you pretty much come out even right where you started off. And we all know modern checkerboarding is getting really, really good. Not to mention that there's enough power in Series X to easily do ray tracing at uh, well above 1080p. <clears throat> anyway, again, he does talk about ray tracing being great. I've heard some great things behind the scenes as well. Bill says, I'm very focused on the work we are doing around dynamic latency. In my view, the feel of games this generation will change as dramatically as any since 2D to 3D, given CPU upgrade, direct latency input, memory bandwidth, and SSD. Now that is an absolutely huge statement. The shift from 2D to 3D in video games was absolutely monumental, a pivotal point in gaming itself meaning gaming was never the same. Now, of course, I would agree with old Uncle Phil here uh, and say that it is true. You are going to experience something you've never experienced before. And once you do, you are not going back. And sure, you'll have PC guys saying, welcome to 2015, but hey, welcome to 500 bucks, not 1500 bucks, right? Consoles are about pricing, flexibility, convenience. I feel like it's time people understand that. And just because someone chooses to play on console doesn't mean they don't have a PC or don't understand PC gaming. People like myself simply prefer it. So yes, a revolutionary statement by Phil Spencer saying, hey, gaming is going to change as much this year in 2020, provided these systems don't get pushed back, of course, as when they went from 2D to 3D gaming. No more worrying about frame rates, no more worrying about bottlenecks and what games can possibly hit 60 FPS. And of course, if you want more insight on that, we had two developers on the last episode of RDX who agreed they don't see anything bottlenecking the eight cores, 16 thread Zen 2 CPU inside of the Xbox Xbox Series X, at least in terms of frame rate. So let me know what you think about this statement that claims revolutionary advancements in gaming. I am absolutely stoked, actually focusing on getting more content out there for you guys, because for one, I love doing it. Sometimes I'm just in a rut because of some things that have happened over the past month or so. I try not to bring real world into the YouTube land because uh, ain't nobody got time for that. I'm here to inform and maybe entertain, thank those that support the content I make, the channel that I have, and of course, try to be the most most accurate person around when it comes to a lot of this stuff. I've been blessed with great friends like my panel. I've been blessed with a fantastic community around me. And all of that leads me to ask, hey, hit that like button. Maybe show a friend. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down below. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that bell icon for notifications and uh, stay tuned because we got more content coming. RDX podcast will be back next week. I will have a Gears Tactics review then on the podcast. It might be a five minute segment. And again, you guys rock. I'm Dealer. I'm out.